Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly forecast for May 20 through the 26th. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising. Came out of some heavy Scorpio full moon energy this past weekend. So we're going to see how I, that's all affecting you all moving forward into the week ahead. Using one of my favorite decks here this week. I, I, I know I say that, but I, it's hard for me to choose a favorite I'm such a deck junkie, uh, but for those of you who are interested in decks as much as I am, as always, there will be a link in the description to the video where you can check it out if you would like. But we're going to see what's going on for you all, Gemini. Here is your Monday, Tuesday, your Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Your cards jumped out quick, Gemini, so you all are probably in some pretty free-flowing energy this week, which is good. So beginning of the week, you have concerns. This is interesting, but this came up for the other air signs as well um, in different ways, but also in the in the beginning of the week. So maybe this is an air sign thing, <laughs> but um, definitely you guys have this energy in the beginning of the week where you're pondering something. And I specifically heard the word ponder for you, Gemini, okay? I don't want you to take this as like, oh, something bad is going to happen. This is not a gloom and doom kind of reading, okay? And I also want to emphasize the fact, keep in mind, that when I do the weekly forecasts, I'm focusing more on finances, family life, spirituality, uh, love life I do in the love readings. So I don't want you to feel like, oh my goodness, there's going to be some horrible red flag uh, about a person. Um, it's a general reading. It's going to be different for different ones of you. But for the majority of you guys, I feel really strongly, intuitively that these concerns have to do with some decisions that you're wanting to make in terms of business. And I did not feel this so much uh, with the other... Um, with the other people it came up for, okay? Uh, actually, no. Uh, I, I haven't done all the air signs readings yet, so it's not only the air signs, but this did come up for a couple of the other signs. Um, but again, for the other signs it came up for, I kind of had like a different, different vibe for it. And for you all, what I feel is that this has to do with like something strategic in terms of your career or a business or your money where you're about to play uh, a move almost like you're playing chess you're about to make a move and you're really weighing out the best way to do this i feel that some of you are developing some kind of a strategy gemini you all are very intelligent you are you know that you're very smart you guys are that air sign energy anyway so you're really used to being in your mental space i feel like what happened with the scorpio full moon for a lot of you gemini's uh, the Scorpio full moon was really about us facing our fears and seeing the monsters or the things that we've been afraid of that have been blocking us from moving forward. And now that you've seen that and you've realized that, you know what's in the way of you and your success or you and your happiness or you and your abundance, you're getting ready to like confront someone or play some kind of strategy to get to the next level. And so you're thinking about how can I do this in a way where it's not going to backfire on me? How can I do this in a way where I'm making the best move? I'm hearing strategy. I'm hearing strategy. So I think in the beginning part of the week, Gemini, a lot of you are busy scheming up some kind of a plan to get ahead in a financial situation. So you might be getting uh, ready to like confront a boss or an employer and you're wanting to lay down a case about why you deserve that promotion or why you deserve a raise or whatever it might be. Some of you are getting ready to do something where I feel like you feel... You're going directly into competition with a person and you're like, should I do this? Should I not do this? Where you're about to make a move for something that, you know, somebody else wants it. Right. And so you're like, people might be coming after me because there's a lot of other people that want this opportunity or whatever it might be. So this feels to me like like you're getting ready for war here. OK, and I don't mean physical war. I don't mean like physical fighting. But you're getting ready to go after something and you're thinking of all of the things that I don't want to say could go wrong, but you're thinking of all of the things that may happen along the way and you're trying to figure out how to be best prepared for it, like how to be in energy where um, it's not going to work against you and things are going to work in your favor. 
Okay, again, strategy is the word here. Strategy is the name of the game, and that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. Some of you, I do feel like those of you who are in situations um, where you're in a small community or you're like in a, a special career niche or, or, or a workplace, some of you do have a person who I feel like um, is out to try to um, paint you in an unfavorable light. Okay, like you all may have gotten off on the wrong foot or there could have been some miscommunication. And so some of you have concerns now about how to move forward, how to move past that situation. Some of you are having to clear the air with a person. Okay, because this person maybe is hurt or they're offended and they want to go around and they want to say stuff. So some of you are having to like find a way to bring peace with this person and you're thinking of how to do it in a way where it's cautious and careful so that they can't go around and twist things and say that you admitted guilt or you did this or you did that or this or this or that right so there's something where you're having to clear the air make peace in some way uh, but do it in a way where you know you don't feel like you're making yourself look bad or you don't want it to come off as like an admission of guilt i keep hearing strategy some of you are in some kind of strategy gemini in the beginning of the week your wednesday thursday is family room okay this is a card about comfort this is a card about being around people that you're comfortable with uh nurturing yourself nurturing your soul nurturing your spirit Okay, um, it could also in some way for me, sometimes when this card comes up, it has to do with calling some kind of a meeting. Okay, some of you are calling a meeting with family. Um, some of you, it could be very well, much a very literal physical one where people are gathering in the family room of your home. But some of you, maybe there's some distance and you all can't. But there's some kind of just coming together and we need to talk about things. We need to talk about things. We need to make sure everybody is okay. We need to make sure that everybody's boundaries are being, you know, recognized and uh, respected. And I feel, Gemini, that you are the ones who are going to be doing this. And this also came up for, I want to say, um, Cancer, the sign of Cancer. So some of you may have Cancer, Moon, or Rising, or some of you could have a family member who is a cancer and something could be happening where you're like, okay, we need to talk about this. We need to, um, you know, make sure everybody's on the same page. Not necessarily. I only say that because the card came up for cancer as well, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have that in your chart or there is a person with that sign. I'm just simply saying it because it came up for them as well. But Gemini, I do feel that you're kind of taking the initiative and having a talk having a discussion some of you may be in a living situation or living arrangement where it's been awkward or uncomfortable especially if you are living with other people so there could be a sense or a feeling of wanting to sit down with those housemates um or housemate and maybe have a talk about ways in which you all can be uh, more comfortable in the current living arrangement uh, living situation Okay, I do feel a sense of bonding. I do feel that that this is going to be something that's going to go well for many of you because you're going into it with this energy of love. Like you're going into it with well-meaning. You're going into it not in war mode. That how am I going to attack this? How am I going to prove my point? How am I going to put this person in their place? You're not going into it with that kind of energy. You're not going into it with cattiness. You're like, how can this be for the highest good of everyone? Like how can we find the happy medium for all those who are involved okay um so the 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 creator of this deck as i'm looking at a little booklet um says that this could also include uh something having to do with hotel rooms um or like meeting places okay so it's uh reflecting or representing privacy and intimacy okay so it has to do with again uh, some private moments or discussions, okay, personal space, um, it could also mean that there's going to be changes happening very quickly, all right, so it says hold fast to the present now, this card describes everything that is very close, whether temporal or spatial, it is also a card that indicates your home, privacy, and all rooms and apartments, 
you can retreat into your privacy without being introverted. Okay, so basically this is letting us know also that some of you are coming into a sense of sanctuary, feeling more comfortable in your space. And this is going to be helping a lot of you to manifest things much more quickly. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is toil and labor, okay? So as you're kind of getting very clear about what you want to do, the end of the week is about making it happen, doing the hard work. I've said this in the past, Gemini, and I don't want you all to hate me or be mad at me or think that I think bad of Geminis because I don't. I really don't. Um, but I feel that for a lot of Geminis, um, that I have known or that I have encountered because you all can be really good at small talk and you all can be really charismatic and you know Gemini don't even play dumb you know you can be charismatic you know you have a way of winning people over you know you have a way of talking yourself out of situations it's what you all do it's a gift it's a power I'm not hating I'm not hating on you it, 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 it's a it's a beneficial skill but I feel that a lot of you are just at this space right now in your life. Again, and this has come up in previous readings where that tactic isn't working anymore, right? Like you're kind of in a situation that you're not going to be able to charm your way out of. You're in a situation where you're not going to be able to talk your way out of. And it's coming down to just doing the work to bring about change. And I think this is what this card has to do for you. Okay, so it might feel like hard work. It may even feel a little bit tiring. It may feel like, oh my goodness, when is this going to end? But this is letting you know that you're doing the work that's going to bring about change. Okay, you're going to uh, refer to work. Well, the, this card says this card refers to work done out of necessity, right? And so it could be tiring work. It could feel monotonous work, the grind. Okay, but... It's because you're bringing about change. All right. It's like in something necessary that you're being obligated to do. All right. But it's going to bring about the change. It's work that maybe you don't want to do, but it has to be done. All right. But again, it's, it's just to get you over that bridge into the next aspect of where you want to be. So... Here you have your concerns, you're thinking about what you want to do, your strategy. Here you have the confrontation and the getting settled. And here, I don't want to say confrontation, but like facing the issue, getting settled, getting on the right page, coming up with the plan. And the end of the week is about making the plan happen. Okay. But I feel, Gemini, that this work will be rewarded. It's not like an, it's not like a senseless thing. It's just that you're coming into working in, in a, in a different way, right? You're coming into working in a way um, where it might feel a little foreign to you or it may feel a little bit tiring. But I do feel very strongly that this is going to be work that's going to be rewarded, my dears. Check out your moon sign and rising sign videos as well because that's going to add a little extra information for you. Specifically, since this is a general reading, checking out your moon sign and rising sign could add a little bit more specific information for your specific you know, planetary alignments. Um, so that's helpful. Obviously, I'm always available for private readings. If you want to schedule a private reading, there's a link in the description of the video to take you to that. A lot of you have been reaching out to me and messaging me. Tanya, my assistant's been letting me know uh, about them. I don't always get to check the messages. She helps me with that. But, you know, a lot of you have been saying that the general readings have really been helping you. And I'm very happy to hear that, guys. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, you know, I'm happy to hear that many of you are getting help um, without even having to book a private reading. Obviously, I love reading for you privately, but I'm happy that those of you who haven't been able to are still getting help from these videos. And there's going to be other videos um, that I'm working on now for like instructions and things like that. So those of you who want to support the channel, um, I do have a Teespring shop up now that if you want to treat yourself and get yourself a little gift and buy yourself something that I designed and also in turn that you're supporting the channel, I appreciate you all for doing that. If not, no big deal, no worries. I thank you for being here. I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for letting me be part of your journey and I'm wishing you all the best.